Hello advanced fiddlers, we're focusing on the danceability of catharsis today. So uh, there's several points that we're going to hit as we go through this. The first one um, that I want to address was a question from Ken Clark. So Ken, thank you so much for forwarding your question. He said, could we address the 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 um sorry the point of the B section of catharsis the syncopation and the syncopation in catharsis in the B section so I'm skipping the first part here altogether we'll come back to it um, the trickiest part is the syncopation in the B section and that essentially means that we're putting the emphasis on the offbeat so it's almost like we're going one two one two one two one, two, instead of one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. The, and that is actually what makes the song so catchy, is that it's not your typical heavy beat tune where we're counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We're kind of going da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. And it ends up helping us um, roll. I call this a rolling reel. So you won't hear some of the terms I come up with you're not going to hear anywhere else because I've, I've made them up um, so a rolling reel for me is a tune that rolls with the beat it's absolutely fluid and those are the perfect reels or por perfect tunes to play especially for dances but in in this case I'm thinking for square dancing so it rolls so perfectly um, that it allows for a collar just to swing right through those reels so that the dancer, essentially what you're doing as a musician, is making it so obvious where the beat sits that the dancer doesn't have to think. The dancer gets to feel 100%. They're not thinking to themselves, this is what I do with my feet, this is how I switch arms, I'm alamand lefting. They just get to get into it. They get to feel it because the musician is so accurate with the rhythm and with the beat that the musician just gets to feel their way through the dance. And eventually, as you get so comfortable with that idea of danceability, you too get to feel your way through the tunes. You won't have to be so conscious of what you're doing. But enough talking. Um, to take you through the B section, your exercise to approach this is pull out the scale notes. So we've got the B section melody. in those in those phrases are the descending pattern not the doubles so what you end up wanting to emphasize is So that is your exercise today, is to pull that out. I want you to pull and push, and pull and push, coming down that line. put it back into the melody. So I'm really 
really trying to demonstrate in a physical way, you can see me bobbing, is to pull the note and push the note and pull the note and push the note. So uh, that's the idea of syncopation, um, where I want you to, if we were to go back to some really, really old Baroque classical music um, and approach this, and Bach would be our teacher, he would say when you're pulling the scale tones out away from the repeated notes, that's called voicing. So when you hear the da 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 So as you're working through that part, you're listening for the voicing of that section. I don't know if you can hear this. I've got coyotes singing in the background. So I think they're like catharsis. Um, anyway, so listen for what Bach termed the voicing of that section. And I don't want you to get too technical in your approach to, to syncopation. I want you to listen to the note that you want to draw out. We know that we, we're not interested in emphasizing the double notes. We're not interested in, in emphasizing the G, for example. <laughs> your attention, not emphasis, if you put your attention on drawing out the melody, that approach naturally draws out the syncopation. So it helps us not to overanalyze it. Otherwise, what we end up getting is the overemphasis on the double notes, and that actually throws, even though that's where the syncop syncopation lies, it, by overemphasizing it, it makes us really stiff, and it gets us caught up in that section. So again, focus on voicing 100%. Technically, focus on right hand. What is your bow hold doing? How loose and relaxed are you? Or are you choking up? Again, I feel like I keep repeating myself, I'm really sorry, but again, by fo focusing on that voice line um, and really drawing it out with the right hand, you'll sing that section through with your bow instead of getting tight. It will help you to move through that in a really fluid way. Okay, I've spent seven minutes on syncopation, I'm really sorry. So let's move on to the A section. How do we make the A section danceable? And that question is actually much more straightforward for the for the first section. Go back to my idea of the rolling reel. If we're counting in fours, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four you're thinking watermelon, 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 watermelon. It's easier to think in syllables than it is to count out through it. What I want you to do by giving you the natural bowing that I gave, the down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, up, 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 down, up, 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 it gave you the natural beat. For the tune. it with a pull and a push and a pull. If you overemphasize the D, the reel does have a heavy first beat, but if you emphasize it, then it ends up giving you a very stiff tone. So you want your focus to be pulling the bow and pushing the bow, pulling the bow and pushing the bow. If you can, start by playing before you 
start your tune. So you're playing just the rhythm. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So my trick here is the D tends to be the heaviest note because we keep coming back to it and it's beat one. But I want you to think of G as your emphasis. Take away my word emphasis as your push. Push up to the G. That ends up giving you the rolling reel feel without overemphasizing beat one. So my worry about using the word emphasize and really putting that attention on the D is that we end up getting a taka 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 sound and that just makes us stiffen up immediately and does the opposite of danceability. It just turns us into tin soldiers. Uh, so when we're on the dance floor, we sure don't look like dancers. All right, the last thing that I didn't talk about in danceability, which is actually the most important, is do you dance? If you don't dance, get your butt on the dance floor because that is the only way you learn how to be a great fiddler. I am the world's worst dancer. I will not pretend to be an amazing dancer, though my YMCA is amazing. If you want to learn how to be a good fiddler, you have to learn what is important on the dance floor. So go and have a great time, find a local community dance, and at least spend half the dance on the floor, not just on the stage, because that really gives you an idea of what a fiddler needs to provide to make the dance fun and easy for dancers. All right, if you have any questions, any comments, please come on over to our Facebook page. If you're not comfortable on Facebook or you don't have an account, send us a note at modelfiddler at gmail.com. I want to know how the practice challenge is going for you. Have a great day. You're halfway through the challenge.